Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tofinet the Babbling Belgian, and this is The Last of Us Part 2. And you may be surprised, but we're not playing as Ellie anymore. We're playing as a young Abby. So we're finally going to, well, discover what happened Dad. four years ago. So she's out here in the woods with her father, clearly. But I'm really cur curious where this is leading to. Because four years ago means Dad, come on. that Joel was, Joel and Nelly were... Either back in Jackson already, or, which is probably going to be more likely, is in the hospital right now, um, recovering from the, the, the gun to his head. Dad! Look at the squirrels! Squirrels! So recovering from the, uh, yeah, the hit in the head he got from that rifle while he was uh, resuscitating Ellie after she drowned. So that means that... Pretty, because this is the zoo. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so that makes sense. So this is where the giraffes came from, the infamous giraffes from the original game. So there seems to be a gate over here, but of course locked. There. Uh, it does seem like you went over Dad. there. Okay. How am I getting over this fence? Uh, well, if you jump. High enough, you could probably put your feet up on the bars and just climb over it, but this is a video game, it doesn't really work like that. Let's take a look around with our new protagonist, or should I say antagonist, it's kind of unclear. So we can crawl underneath there, but you know me by now, if you followed along this long, you know that I'm very, very meticulous about checking every nook and cranny. So, but it seems like this is, yeah, pretty empty. So let's just go. Underneath this broken. I wonder what escaped here because this doesn't look good. There we go. Okay, we do get a bottle. At least we got that. We don't seem to have the same um, selection screen as we have with Ali. So that's not going to change much. We're probably going to use that to break a window. So uh, let's go. Since a Abby doesn't seem to have a melee weapon. Okay, so now we're at the other side here, and there's a dumpster. Ooh, coins. Look at that, 1978. Is that like the, the, the red finch from CDPR's, CD Project Red's logo? Because it looks like that, Virginia. Let's put that away, and there was, there was another one here, right? I oh, know. Interesting, so we found the coin. What the hell is a coin? Is that another type of collectible only here. found in this, uh, Maybe I can get onto the roof. this area? Okay, Abby, there don't need to be so little. I already knew that I needed to get this thing to go on top of the roof, but... There we go. Let's push that against the there. wall. So again, it's four years ago, so it's oh, not yeah. about Joel's raider past, which I was kind of hoping for that the game would elaborate on what he did during that period. <laughs> But smooth. apparently not. Yeah, very smooth. So it's just going to be the hospital again. Which, I mean, fair enough. So, that is... Something Something Park. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. And straight in the mud. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> you, uh... You got a little mud on you there, sweetheart. So do you. Where? Right there. Oh. <laughs> you know, every time you run off like this, they give me shit about it. Come on. Believe it or not, they actually care about your safety. These woods are safe. Dad. Abs. She's been hanging out right on the other side of those trees. And? She's due any day now. We'll just check on her and then, and then we'll head back. I promise. Okay, seems like Jerry was his Let's name, right? Make it quick. Seems to be an animal See? lover. There we go, Jerry. Little girl to keep me safe. He seems familiar. I feel like we've seen an older version know. of him. Owen ratted me out, didn't he? He did his job. I swore to secrecy. How'd you get him to talk? Uh, I asked. Huh. 
That's actually also a nice touch since we've been talking about Abby's physique before. She is not nearly as buff as she is uh, four years later, so she definitely trained to be as strong as she is in the, uh, well, in four years. So we're probably talking about an animal. Hey, I'm assuming. Look what I found. Coin. Oh, wow. 1978. Don't have that one in my collection. You can keep it. If you promise not to pull anything like this again. <laughs> you got yourself a deal. Why don't I believe you? No reason I could think of. Come on, let's keep looking. So there are actually trophies Dad, tied to the coins. Relax. So You'll I knew about them. Before you know it. Wait, what? Nothing. Just noticed you two have been hanging out a lot. More so than usual. Oh, God. Yeah. How long have you known? I'm your dad. I see things. Like the way you both try really, really hard not to look at each other when you're around me. You get all serious. It's very cute. I can't handle this. And he makes you laugh. <laughs> That's because he's such an idiot. I just like how he's extra nice to me now. He gets all nervous when he has to keep me in check. So you're taking advantage of him? Me? Never. <laughs> okay. So we kind of know where that ends up because uh, Abby and Owen do have a sort of relationship. There has been some history there, but he eventually ends up with Mel uh, and, and dead with a, a pistol shot in the, the stomach and then the face. So yeah, definitely, definitely some history there, but ooh, this is actually a really cool zoo. Is this what the zoo in, what is it, Salt Lake City? Is that where the, the last game ends? The, the first game ends? I think it is Salt Lake, right? But this is really cool. Is that, wow. That octopus Fresh doesn't tracks. look interested at all. Yes, indeed. Fresh tracks. Let's see if we can find anything else. So they're hooves. Wait, this is just your sneaky way of giving me a tracking lesson, isn't it? I would never. Is it working? Well, I mean, I found you. Yeah, but you cheated. You do what you need to do to get it done. Wow. You actually listen. You have your moments of wisdom. Okay, so is this all leading towards... Oh, God. Um, towards the fact that, that Joel has something to do with the death of Jerry, then. What the... Ah, that's a placenta. Uh, Dad, I found... Something. Oh my god. She already gave birth. Ew. And look, two sets of tracks. Dad? Is it a baby zebra? It doesn't sound good. No. Why are you She's in pain? Okay, so has she been attacked then? I'm guessing a baby zebra. The giraffe's hooves are bigger than that, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Dad, wait. What if they're infected around? This area is clear. You know they roam. You brought your gun, right? Of course. Then I'm not worried. Oh, that's horse stuff. We're gonna be on a horse in a minute. This is Shit. foreshadowing that's... just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Calm down. Zebra? Did I call the zebra or is it giraffe? It was pretty. Not zebra, call it. Ooh. It's okay. Damn it. It's really in there. Uh, abs, come here. here. I'm gonna hold her. Okay. Calm down, calm down. Okay. Over here, Owen. What? Hey, get over here and help me hold her. We need you back up. Owen! Hold her! Wow, he looks really young. Uh, hey. right. You got her tight? Uh, yeah. All right. Get in there, Abs. Steady. Oh. 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 
And there she goes. Holy fuck. Everybody's looking for you. We gotta... Hey, wait! Dad! What's going on? Yeah, good. Come on. Oh, yeah, we know what's going on, obviously. There we go, St. Mary's Hospital. Oh, we did it's go back there. a little baby zebra. Doc, that girl showed up. What girl? The one Marlene keeps talking oh, about. Oh, he's the surgeon. They found her in the tunnels. She has an old bite mark on her arm. No signs of infection. <laughs> that can't be. They're already running tests on her, but you got to get down there. I mean, he's still an idiot, as he tried to kill her within 24 hours after he got her his hands on her. It's intertwined with the brain. There's no other option. There has to be some other way. There's no way to remove the specimen without destroying the host. The host? She's a child, not some petri dish. You think I don't... I'm aware of the situation. And you're okay with killing her? No, I'm okay with developing a vaccine that'll help save millions of lives. How many fireflies have died for less? That was their choice. Are you asking me? Are you telling me this is how it's gonna be? I am begging you to buy in. And what if this was Abby? <laughs> Look, everything that we've been fighting for, all the sacrifices, all of the horrific all of that is justified with this one act. If this was your daughter, what would you do? <laughs> Marlene looks really old in this game, by the way. Abby, I buy some dinner. Thank you, sweetheart. Look, Marlene. Why? He traveled across the country with her. He has a right to know. Good luck with your surgery. You're doing the right thing. If it was me, I'd want you to do the surgery. <laughs> there was one big problem with that decision, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Oh wow, we're gonna get to see the other side now. Same hallway. And by the way, I've, I've been replaying the original and this is the exact same hallway. They did a pretty good job at the, translating this, although I feel like it's still a lot bigger. Now, no, I'm gonna keep playing. I'm, I'm gonna talk about the decision that the, the, the Fireflies made in a minute, because uh, it actually does have an impact. Um, and I still don't feel like it was justified. So let's get into that in a minute. But here we go. In the fucking building? Abby. No! Abby, don't look. Dad! Dad! No! No! Get up! Joel, fucking get up! Please stop! Wow, we get to do this again as well. Great. 
Joel, please get up! And now we get to hear the conversation that happened after this, because we never got to hear this. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Manny. Clean enough. No, no, no. We're here for him. That's it. It's too risky to leave them alive. Too fucking bad. He's right. We can't have loose heads. We killed them. We're no better than he was. They didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, look at my face. Fuck your face. You should have been guarding the upstairs like I told you to. Move! Back up. Calm down. Or what? Back the fuck up! Calm down! Darden! You shoot me? Stop! We're done. It's weird to hear Owen say, if we do that, we're no better than they are. Because you've already proven you're no better than he is. Because you've done the exact same thing. You went for revenge. Oh. And that was it. Easy. You okay, Apps? Yeah, I just. What's up? Been searching everywhere for you. We've been called up. Isaac wants us at the front. What? Are you serious? I'm afraid so. We should hustle. We're leaving now? <laughs> yes. I'm on us. Okay. I saw the detail, by the way. I mean, my neck. this shows you the difference between Abby now and Abby four years ago. She trained for this. Yeah, it, who was it this time? That cook chick? Nah, the weather chick. She's down from the mountain. Oh, the scientist. Nice. Uh, she's a little too excited about her job. Talked my ear off about some storm and I don't know. Worth it, though? Oh, absolutely. I can die happy now. <laughs> you should. You're never gonna do better than her. <laughs> I keep thinking the same thing. And yet, here we are. So, we're gonna be spending some time with Abby. By the way, she was reading a book by David Benioff. That's one of the writers for Game of Thrones, the series. Not the, the books, obviously. So, that's a, a funny touch. Because he doesn't have the, the best of reputations right now after that final season. But, so, what I wanted to talk... I'm gonna take... take Stand over here a little bit. The reason why I still don't agree with the Fireflies decision is because they never woke up Ellie to ask what her opinion was. Both the Fireflies and Joel, because I'm not saying that Joel wasn't the right as well, both of them made a decision without asking Ellie what she thought about it. Yes, we can maybe assume that Ellie was willing to kill, well, to die for a vaccine, if that was even possible, which I'm still disputing as well. But nobody even asked her. They just kept her knocked out. She was knocked out after drowning and nobody ever asked her what she felt about it. And then of course, Joel himself killed everybody and lied to her face as well. So neither of them made a good choice. And this looks like we're, what the hell? Where the hell are we? Is this a Seattle day one? So that means, wait, where are we? Or is this, oh, this might be the TV station. But again, these guys also have a functioning society. They have children, they have, yeah, this, it's actually nice to see this side of things. And they seem to be, <laughs> they seem to be doing okay for themselves and in a civilized way. So that's something I was I was a bit I think I've mentioned that at the beginning as well that it's weird that everybody of, from Jackson is like really really nice even to strangers and then everybody else are just assholes. But obviously all these factions are friendly towards each other and they treat each other with respect and like normal human beings. It's just really weird that the WLF shoots people on sight. Grab us some food. Yeah, on it. Get me something con picante. You get what you get. Okay. 
So, where are we going? Because this is... Ah, that's the guy with the scar in his face. I completely forgot his name. But other than that, I have the chance to look around. Maybe there's a coin somewhere. Because I feel like the coins are probably the collectibles in Abby's memories, I would think. So let's talk to him. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Or is he just here for, for flavor? And I think that's the guy... Hmm. They all kind of look a little bit similar. Too, ah, there we go. Jordan. I told him. I wanted to talk to you, oh, buddy. Jordan. I didn't see you there. We did. You're coming with us to the Saravina. Uh, Manny and I just got called up to the FOB. What are you doing at the Saravina? Hotel and the school are getting evacuated. We're grabbing supplies and bringing everyone back to the base. Seriously? Man, can you fucking believe after everything we're falling back? You don't know that's what it is. Uh, at least Leah might be home from the TV station sooner. Well, there's that, yeah. I should run. May your survival be long. And may your death be swift. See, that's what make this makes this a little bit weird. The catchphrases. That is just, I mean, live, live long and prosper, right? It's just just a little bit weird. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just, it's, it, it, again, this, this exactly proves my point about Abby's physique. This is a military school. They train for all of this. Hey, sir. Ah, Abby. How you feeling? Fantastic. Would you please tell him to get rid of this? Oh, I've tried. <laughs> I look good. It's horrible. <laughs> bueno, we have to head out. Keep him safe. <laughs> For you, I will. By the way, something this also points out is how many people there are in the WLF. I may have killed half of them as uh, as Ali, but still, there's plenty left. Um, I'm just gonna take a look around. Oh, we can talk to this woman in the back here. What are they serving today? Burritos. Again. Okay. Okay, so we're, uh... Hey, what are you doing? Hey, tenemos prisa. Dame tres burritos. Hey, man, there's a line. Penny, what the fuck? Excuse me. Wait your turn like the rest of Sorry. us. Sorry. We're going to the front. Come on. <sighs> so embarrassing. Why do you have three? Go on back. Now, don't freak out. Mel's coming with us. Manny? Okay, and now, now I'm holding a burrito. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this to me? Because I care about both of you. And I'm tired of all the bullshit. Does she know I'm on this drive? She does. And she's cool with it? Yeah. <laughs> Why does your yeah sound like a no? <laughs> it's my accent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, 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 was, that was a good one. It's my accent. Just want to check out the meat shop here. If I can talk to anybody here. Because this guy seems to be... Are you more designed than everybody else? How often do you have to shop in your no, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. That's just the butcher shop. And then that was the food. And that's basically it, I suppose. So let's follow Manny to the residence hall. There is a clothing store here. No, I'm going to check out the clothing. Maybe there's something here for... Oh, oh, oh I can talk to somebody here. Hello. Hey, got any of those bars of soap that I like? The fine ones? <sighs> Sorry, Abby. Heard the section next door is getting a new haul in. Might check there tomorrow. Bummer. Thanks anyway. It's actually really cool to see something like this as well, because every single bottle is something different. Because, of course, they just scavenge what they can find. Nothing gets produced anymore. So this is just what they found on some of their discovery tours. We can't be late for Isaac. Okay, Manny, I got... You, I mean, you're holding those burritos like you're gonna start drumming with them. And I, I mean, me, me as well, just holding that upright. It's kind, kind of weird, but there we go. It does give me... Like, I'm really hungry right now because of the burrito. Oh, no, don't start eating it. Now you're just laughing in my face. You're making me uncomfortable. No. It's an opportunity for you two to finally move forward. We've barely said a word to each other since Jackson. I'm just supposed to pretend that didn't happen. 
Of course not. You guys need to talk about it. She wanted Joel dead as much as the rest of us. But she's not like the rest of us. She hasn't hurt people like that before. She, she kills scars all the time. Not the way we kill Joel. Don't forget, we are grunts. She's a medic. Come on, Abby. She's family. And she went after a girl with a knife. I'll try. That's all I'm asking for. And got herself stabbed because of it. That doesn't make any sense. She's definitely aggressive. She, she without provocation, well, with, with a little bit of provocation, just went after Ellie with a knife. Ellie blatantly said, I'm not gonna kill you. And then she just went for it. And then we had to stab, stab a pregnant woman. Remember that from the last episode? Yeah, that was great. Okay. Anderson Abigail. I'm gonna grab my... Yeah. Be nice. Bite me. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's where we are. We're in a... In a, in a stadium. Uh, bra? Bra. Scientist, huh? Huh. Bit of a... Kinky scientist. Um, wait, but it did say Abigail at. So this is her room, right? Or is Mel just staying in Abby's room? That's also weird. Um, there we go. Dishes. I'll do it later. Fair enough. Um, no, no coins. Because now, now my interest is peaked. I'm gonna go for all the coins. There's my backpack at least. Did she steal Joel's backpack? Knock knock. Ready to roll? Yeah, just about. Hi. Hey. I actually cleared you for active duty. Barely. You could probably get a stay if you ask. I'd rather not sit around if I don't have to. And no one's okay with this? Why would it be up to Owen? We need to grab Alice on our way. Hey. Do better. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mel seemed a bit cranky as well. Probably the pregnancy. And this, this love triangle isn't really helping anybody. This is amazing, by the way. I mean, I've said this a lot about this game, but this is the first time that you really get a sense of scale. Because, it's, I mean, it's just a stadium, but it's its huge. It is humongous. What are you getting called up for? It's just the usual rotation, don't worry. Hey, uh, when you get back, will you check on my dad? He seems, uh, I don't know, worse. Worse how? Well, he's complaining about a sharp pain in his wrists. He can barely hold his spoon. Maybe we can get him some more painkillers. Heard they moved you and Owen to Section 96? Yeah, it's... it's nice. It's lots of young families. Getting you guys excited? About the baby? Seeing all the kids running around, uh... Yeah, I'm... I'm getting ready. <laughs> all those crying babies? Let's drive Owen crazy. He hasn't even seen it yet. He's out on rotation with Danny. Danny. Yikes. Sucks for him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna go start looking for coins here. This is just... I'm just taking in the scenery. This is amazing. The set... This place is alive. With all the animals, the people. She's playing inside. Wait, Abby? Oh, no, the dogs. I, I didn't make the connection just yet. Oh, these are all the dogs I killed. Oh, thank you, Naughty Dog. You're a fucking asshole. The poor doggos. Do I need to sign out as well, or can I just grab a dog? Hey, girl. Hey, crazy dog. There's my favorite girl. The only one that'll put up with your shit. <laughs> Don't be jealous. Hey, Al. You wanna go to the trucks? Let's go to the trucks. That's 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 the dog I hey, killed. Bear. That's the dog I killed yeah, right okay, before we got to so um 
Owen and uh there we go. get the ball. Right before we killed uh Mal and Owen, that was Okay, thanks, thanks for that 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 scene, Naughty Dog. I'm really glad about that. Yes, we're gonna play. I'm ah. gonna No, 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 wait, wait. Can I pat you? I'm Who's gonna the best boy? Yeah, it's good, it's good yeah. boy. Who's gonna get shot by an 18-year-old girl? Ah. There we okay. go. Oh, the animation on the dog is amazing. I am so sad of how many dogs I killed. I'm just going to give him another cuddle. There we go. There we go. Goodbye, boy. Goodbye. Bye. No, you are. You are. This is... Is he going to put that... Oh. Damn you. Damn you. Go. Oh, boom. On the wall. There we go. Oh, even ran past it. He's such a good boy. He's such a good boy. There's gonna be a lot of dog deaths after this out there. Ah, <sighs> okay. Did I see Jen last night? Yes, you did. You dirty dog. What's she doing in town? Something for Isaac. That's gonna be a lonely job. She really likes it. Ask her about the cumulus clouds. <laughs> Well, I guess you get to stay away from the combat. Yeah, hey, that's what you're into. I'd be happy staying put, I think. Just two hey, families. Hi. Hey. It's fucking up scars. I don't think so. I'd go crazy. So it's really weird to see people like conversing with each other normally, but then just okay. talking about murdering other people very, very casually. Even if it is about scars. They're, they're also just people, I suppose. Hey, Can I have my usual? You got it. Gracias. Look Just at this armory. Take S24. Is that? A, a, I'm driving. A scout rifle of some sort? Sign us out. Pendejo. Pendejo. There yeah, we thanks. go. May your survival be long. And your, death, your death be, be swift. swift. That is such a that is such a bad tagline, by the way. Why would you wanna die? Even in, especially in the post-apocalypse. Okay, yeah, this is a shooting range. I, I stopped for a second. Why? Why, why would I? Oh, okay. Down for some friendly competition? The loser cleans the apartment. Mm, high stakes. This is weird. Best score on a full magazine. You're on, cabron. Why are we doing shooting exercises in, I'm, I'm assuming, over half the game? Uh, press the button. Uh, boop. <laughs> did a lot better than he did. I'm requesting that gun next time. <laughs> yeah, the gun's why I won. Definitely. Oh, that reminds me. There is a huge pile of dirty dishes. <laughs> You're cruel. Yes. Ooh, you can fold my laundry, too. Is there... Oh, I can do this again. I don't really want to do this again. Ooh, sharpshooter. Got a trophy for that, at least. Is there... Are there coins as well? Because I'm, I'm a big fan of coins. If anybody wants to give me a coin... There we go. No coin for me. So let's just leave, because this seems like a total waste let's of time. Place. Oh, so they're actually making ammo here as well, this, which is really, really cool. So I'm just going to grab everything, grab everything. So yeah, it definitely feels like a sort of scout rifle. It's not... Yeah, who's a good girl? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, she's going to die. I'm sorry about that. There we go. And I was talking about the dog, not about the crazy no, pregnant, pregnant woman who tried to kill me with a knife. Because the dog can't help it. Because the dog was just protecting its owners. I feel really sad about that. But definitely something happened in between because Mel ended up at yes, yes. the aquarium with Owen. So what happened there? Ah, you, you can see the storm coming in the background. Have you been sleeping these days? Not great. Do you want me to get you something from the pharmacy? Nah, I'm, I'm good. 
it's not a big deal. No, it's, it's fine. I'm just gonna wear myself out. I've been picking up a few extra assignments. You and I. What do you mean? Nothing. Well, that didn't go well. Wow, are those rust okay, holes because of rust, to... or has this gate been shot a lot? Maybe survival be long. May your death be sweet. Have we lost a hatchery? Yeah. Look at the dog. Any plan on getting it back? Nah, Isaac says it's low priority. We're fishing enough wild salmon right now. What did you mean about me and Owen? Um... I haven't seen him in like two weeks. He keeps picking up open assignments. Has he talked to you? Did, did he say anything? Or... No, we're still not. I mean, I, I've seen him in the mess hall, but... We walk around each other. Jackson shook him. You know, I wouldn't read too much into it. Oh! Okay. Shit. Ambush! Hang on! Scars ambush! Scars ambush! Uh Take them out! So what do you think we're doing? There we go. Let's just reload. There we go. Damn it. Damn it. I'm just gonna reload and take over. Oh, the dog. The dog. Wow, I suck ass at this. Ow. Jesus. I can't fly the exercises here. There we go. There are a lot of scars. You okay? Yeah. Uh. Fucking scars. How far away from the fob? It's a hike. We're too exposed. Let's get inside. Okay, and we have nine bullets left. That's great. Um, what's our load Stay at the moment? So on. we have a health kit. I'm just going to use that to heal up right now. Because I feel like Abby will not have the same tool set as Ali. So definitely has less health. So we haven't seen Manny, by the Let's way. Sure this place is secure. So I'm guessing he's not going to survive this. Um, okay. So that was a, a sudden twist. Um, should probably take the pistol out since we're close quarters at the moment. And just, there we go, coin. Kentucky. Yeah, I'm not going to watch coins. I'm not really that much of a coin lover. So second coin, done. Now. Hey, apps. Yeah. There's enough stuff here to make a pipe bomb. Copy that. A pipe bomb? Where the hell is this going, by the way? Because I feel like the game is, like, reaching around to give me multiple ways to go underneath the, the storage containers here. But apparently, it's nothing. So, pipe bomb. Explosive material. And then we can make pipe bombs. Bounces on impact and explodes after a short delay. Craft two bombs. Fair enough. And we can also make the uh, painful melee weapon. So definitely some tools, but there we go. They probably know we went into the building. They will, f will have found our uh, jeep. And are now probably looking inside of the building, but trying to find another way in. At least we have a plank over here. So that's... Is this... These are the same things from the Left Behind DLC from the Halloween store. That is interesting. Oh, and crafting materials. 
That is interesting. I wonder how long we're gonna play as Abby. Because this is gonna be lots of places to hide in very here. Very interesting. Guys, we got company. Infected. Infected. Okay. But infected aren't really a problem, we feel like. And do we have hearing mode? Yeah, we do have that as well. So there's one over there in the corner. I don't hear any of them right. Ah, there's one over there on the right. But the one on the left actually is one of those passive ones. So I think I'm able to just grab all and stab. Unless, because I think I saw one pop up in a second in the back there, but I think... Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I know how that works. It's like the game resets somehow. And this is strangling again. So yeah, we missed strangling before. Ooh. There we go. And grab this one. And next snap. Yeah, we kind of never did that before because Ali doesn't have the strength that Joel had. So we just went with a knife. I always feel like this is a room, but that's probably going to be... Are they selling doors here? What the hell is the deal? Uh, so there is at least one more over there. I feel like I hear two voices. Not entirely sure, but there we go. That's the last one. And uh, next snap. There we go. And a bit of resources over there. Can we make molotovs? No. We can only make health kits. Okay. It's so much better than getting drunk and watching anime. What? Aha! A metal pipe. That's better than a wooden board. Let's get smacking. So, I could probably move up here. And then over here. Trying to get higher in the area. There's a bunch of pills here even. So I'm guessing that Ali... Uh, Ali. Abby has her own skill tree. Yeah, there we go. So increased health. So that's an extra bar of health. It's the only thing we can do. And there is a secondary upgrade branch in her skill tree. So that means that we do play a, a while with Abby, I suppose. As Abby. Not with Abby. That sounded weird. No, as Abby. Okay, no, stop. Yeah, I know I need to go over there. Stop telling me what to do, game. Just looking around if there are other places to be. Aha. So there's stuff over there. This doesn't seem to be working, so... I think I can reach that by jumping across. And the other areas don't seem to be accessible. So if I jump from over here... There we go. Oh! Oh! Wow! Um, um. Ah, thank you, Dom. Thank you, Alice. Come on. Okay. Runner, Runner. I mean, you're doing fine. Oh, I was, I was hitting her with. I was hitting her with the bottle. That was interesting. Oh wow. Abby is, is way stronger than Ellie, by the way. I don't need to dodge as Abby. Oh, thank you. Should probably kill. Oh. Is that a shambler? There we go. And it's gonna explode. There we go. Wow. Um, Abby is a lot stronger. She only needs like two hits from a melee Shit. weapon to kill something. And she doesn't really need the door. She stuns Where's the enemies with a hit. Yes. Fuck this place. Yeah. <laughs> fuck this place. Indeed. Um, so what did we exactly tip over? And are there more things to loot over here? I have no idea where... This is a different area now, right? 
Could we have accessed this before? Wait, can I make... No. Can't make a stronger melee weapon yet, so I should probably swap to the boards. Because I'm gonna break the pipe in, two, in one hit. So, Manny's yelling that he found the way out, so I'm assuming we just need to follow the light since this is a... Whew, this is a video game. Crafting parts. Um, I think I wasted all my pistol. No, I didn't, actually. That's actually pretty good. Okay, there is more stuff over here. And there was this little side area over here. Is this going to be something? More crafting parts? Stuff like that? No? Okay. Okay, Manny. So, yeah, this is definitely the way out. There's some more stuff behind that door, but I think there's one... Little patch. Yeah, there we go. That. Wait, did I see something? Yeah, duct tape. So, let's try and open up this door on the right here. So, probably if we push hard enough, because, I mean, Abby hey. has the muscles for it. There we go. And push. There we go. Ladies first. Another month and I wouldn't fit through here. <laughs> Quiet, Abs. He said ladies first. <laughs> I like you, Abs. Oh, he has an axe. That is not fair. I also want an axe. Can I also get a metal axe? That's, yeah, that's not going to okay. break, I suppose. Abby, this reminds me of your dad's greenhouse. Shouldn't. All these plants are alive. <laughs> Ooh, burn. You know what? This is good. You two needed a bonding moment. Shut, Shut up, Manny. <laughs> Working already. I mean, we almost died, Manny, but fair enough, I suppose. Um, so I dropped the metal pipe, which means that I don't really have the option anymore to um, turn that into a sharp weapon. That, that would have been nice, but at least we can do that with the, uh, the board now. Anything over here? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look in every nook and cranny. You know how it is. So see you guys in a second. Ah, we found another coin. Found another one? Yes. Well, hey, uh, I know a good drinking game. You can play with those. Maybe later. Yeah, that was knowing where the coin collection comes from. For, from this, uh, that that was a little bit insensitive, Manny. You should probably just shut up. Um, Damn, there's a lot of stuff in here. But we're gathering crafting materials and I haven't found a bench yet. So I'm supposing we'll get to that in a second. Um, and that's probably the way out, but almost done. Almost done scrounging. Just checking the wheelbarrows. Ah, more crafting materials near Manny. And even more on the other side over here. There we go. That's, yeah, that's a lot. I must be at around 60, 70 already. Uh, Mal, can you, can you get out of the way? Oh, Manny, seriously. I, I feel like they're uh, working against me here. Um, so, this shack is not openable, but if we climb this truck after we've checked out these two sheds, ha ha ha. There we go. And now I think we have enough to... Do we have enough to make a stabby? No. A stabby board? No. Definitely not. So let's crawl on top of here. And... There it is. Bob's dead ahead. No scars in sight. Well, they're out there. Yeah. Let's keep moving. It's weird that I haven't found the way inside of the building yet. Or maybe they're just waiting for us to exit it. So they can ambush us in one go. God, remember when we could pass through this area without getting jumped by scars? Getting nostalgic about the truce? Easier days, huh? Too easy. We let our guard down, and they strung up an entire squad. That was in retaliation to us shooting those kids. Okay, but those kids attacked our guys. What would you do? I don't know, not riddle them with bullets? I'd rather save our people. Many, they're kids. It's not their fault. Not our fault either. Those deaths are on them. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot of weird moral dilemmas. 
Not to jinx us, but it is very quiet out of here. Keep checking those sight lines. Sight lines, yeah, you, you tell them, Abby. Check those sidelines. Although I feel, yeah, Abby is probably a lot, <laughs> very, very militarized in those four years. She became uh, very much obsessed with getting better and better to beat Joel eventually, <laughs> which she so did. Well last time. Do you have another idea, maybe? Nope. Just venting. Okay, so that door seems to be blocked off. Shit. Something's blocking the door. Maybe there's another way in. Maybe. There's a rope here. So if I can boost somebody up. Up here. There's a rope. Manny, see what's up there. On it. Ah, oh, this is also a nice touch. Just pushing him up there instead of the other way around. Let's just turn off the flashlight because I was lighting his ass. Can you drop that down just a little bit, Manny? Okay, what's got on something? Okay. So does that. Okay. Manny? There you go. Come on up. Okay. Mel, stay with Alice. I'll try to get that door open. Find you two another way in. Cool. Be careful. And there we go. On the rope. And up. So Daisy. This is well, high up. Still no sign of scars. Still no sign of scars indeed. Ah, oh, funny man. You're funny. Oh. Nah. Long way down. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, that's probably not the way to go, I suppose. Uh, and I'm also not going to be looking for um, for coins up here. Um, is this, this... This little bit seems, seems climbable. Wait, do you really want to go... Oh, I can use the rope to, to go down. There we go. Jesus Christ, she went for it. And drop down. Okay, Mel. We're in. Seems to be I'm at the door. fine for now. So let's open that up. All by our own. Abby's a beast. Okay, Abby come on. is a beast. Quick. And there we go. Yeah, sure. That was impressive. Here we go. Some more pills. I don't know what the next ability requires. 40, so I need 13 more. A boat workshop. Yeah, and they have boats, so that also makes, makes sense. Um, so, just scrounging around a little bit, but doesn't seem to be... Anything of interest aside from a few parts that I found in the back and over here, apparently. Um, anything behind the counter? Uh, must have already picked this clean. Yeah, okay. More crafting parts over here. Yeah, I'm, over, I'm probably over 100 right now. Over 100! Uh, that's one way to go. There's a staircase. Since nobody's hanging out by the staircase, you know what? This is probably an area to prepare myself because I feel like I'm getting way too many uh, crafting materials here. And there we go, the workbench. Just quickly going to look around this area and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so there's clearly a corpse up here, but 18 more pills means that we can actually grab the next upgrade. So listen, mode clarity has increased. So that's that. But yeah, corpse over here, so we definitely are not the first people here. And there's another door there as well, I've seen that. More canisters and stabby stabby, which means that we can now upgrade our melee weapon. Huh. Is there a way in this room? That would be... Okay, now that has definitely piqued my interest, but let's go to the workbench first and see what we can do. Because we have new weapons, which means that we can do new things, I suppose. It's going to be specific upgrades for this weapon. Uh, and it's called the Semi-Auto Rifle. So it has no damage upgrade, so that's the first thing I wanted you know, to check. My dad took me fishing on a boat like this. I got seasick every time. I hated it. 
Any, don't ever get pregnant. <laughs> Doing my best. So, I think for now the scope would be nice. But I think we should be fine. So, let's just grab the stability upgrade. And then we'll also grab the uh, capacity upgrade. The pistol we don't really need to change. So, I feel like this is going to be just fine. So, uh, that's going to be a new stock. There we go. And then next up is the... Um, so we lose the round again. Capacity, so extend the magazine to hold more rounds. So that's uh, changing that up a little bit. It's going to be a bit less of an intricate animation probably. don't know how she made that, but... There we go. Bigger magazine. With three more rounds. There we go. And now we're going to have to reload again, because... There we go, that one round. I do love that. That little touch. It's not, it's not that useful, but it is a nice touch. So, there is a room up there that we should be able to access, but we need to find a way out of here. I'm assuming that the big crank over here is not going to work. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's going up sideways, so it's not going to work. I'll hold it here. Go. I'll press it with something. Ah, ah. Nope. Sorry. You do okay? Yeah. Crank broke. What now? Abby, look. A hatch. Manny, just hang tight. We're gonna find a way up to the roof. Okay. okay. But something's gonna have to change. Glad you hitched a ride with us. Right. Remind me to thank Manny for that one. <laughs> I am glad I'm here with you guys. I hate to hear you got in trouble and I couldn't help. Hey, Mel. Let me boost you up here. Wait, wait. There's something in that room. There was something she was going to tell. There we go. Hey, why have you been avoiding me? I wasn't avoiding you. Come on, you've barely said anything to me since Jackson. I don't know. I, I guess I was shook by Jackson, too. You don't think Joel deserved what he got? I think he deserved worse. I just... I just wish I didn't take part in it. I get it. What kind of a person could do that, right? I'm not saying that. Let's see if there's a way to the hatch. All right. Okay. And with that conversation, I'm actually going to take a little break because we're at uh, over an hour. And I'll, uh, otherwise, this episode is going to keep going. It's really cool that we now swap to Abby to see her side of things. And we learned a lot in this episode alone. But uh, until next time, because then we're going to move on. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And uh, see you guys in the next episode of The Last of Us Part 2. Goodbye.